Trubisky. So you know what your, your guy is playing with who? Minnesota or Atlanta? Yeah, he's gonna. Uh, I think he's using. A, he said he was gonna use Minnesota, but I think he's gonna. He's he's using Atlanta right now. Yeah, he's okay. using Atlanta. Okay. He's Atlanta. So, man. Yeah, he's definitely Atlanta. Yeah. So goes is Atlanta right now, yeah. and Drini is Minnesota. Why would he use? Why would he use Minnesota? Let me know. Why would Trini use Minnesota? No, why in general? Why would you? Why would a person pick Minnesota? Well, they got 191 zone. Uh, there would be Harrison. Uh, yeah, Harrison, Harrison Smith. Uh, they got Anthony Barr, obviously. Great Good linebacker. Linebacker. I was doing a look at their defenders last night. Yeah. Right, because all you guys have been talking so much about the zone covers, and. Their line, is, their line is so good, too. They can block Their defensive that. line, yes. So they've got a right line, right outside linebacker, Anthony Barr with an 83 overall zone cover. Yeah. you got Harrison Smith as your strong safety with a, where is his numbers at? With a 92 zone cover. Yeah. So you got, and like you said, they got they, good block The shot. line of block checks. Yeah. Like, you know I mean, sometimes, you know, it's kind of stupid we sent three people, but. It, if, if it's it works, a big it third works. and 18, I would yeah. like sometimes works, send three work. people and, and uh, you know, they black shit. It's yeah. kind of hard. And you hear guys a lot talking about the, I just got, I'm getting used to all the new words that the, the gamers have changed, turned us into gamers. Meaning like the talk, because guys are saying meta now, like the meta of the game, the meta of the game. So I'm guessing it's just whatever, whatever the thing in the game this year that is, I'm not going to say overhype or overpower, but the big picture of the yeah, game yeah. is use the cover twos, the Tampa twos, yeah. and the nickel three three five, and the dime blitzes and things of that nature. So um, we're going that route, and I, I have to make sure that I, I stay in the loop with all yeah. that stuff. So the meta yeah. says good block shed, a, zone, a good 91 zone cover. I'm saying now, instead of just going with the, the third level of your safeties and your corners, Take a look at them linebackers. Guys start need to put some pay attention to those linebackers with high zone. Especially cover. with Anthony Barr. Like Anthony yeah. Barr, like you could be like seven yards under the route, uh -huh. and you will just grab it. Yeah, his height is kind of crazy with six that. five. He's six yeah. five. He's got uh, I think he's got like over 80, 80 plus jump. Yeah. So he could get up there. So you could be like seven, eight yards under the route and still pick it off. And still pop that thing. So, so we got the first stop of the day. We can stop Junior on first drive. Now we got ball. Come on, baby. Come on, A.M.B. How many people A.M.B. got out here today? So we got you, we got Goals, we got Joke. And Franchise. And Franchise. Okay. So you guys are repping well. I saw you guys on Instagram. Was someone getting married last? A, a uh, yeah. Or who was it? You Below. You Below got married uh, last weekend. And so we, we want to... We want we got a subscription, so guys, we want to make sure we we uh, say what's up to the bright. Thank you so much for that subscription. Make sure you hit that notification button so that every time Nursery goes live, you see that gameplay. Again, if you subscribe, I will, we you will definitely get a shout out on the stream because we appreciate you. We appreciate everybody, but we want to really make sure that we shout out guys who also come in here and subscribe. So, Atlanta. Goes is on the move, he's approaching, he's, he's, approaching he's, the he's, tight zone. Yeah, he's he's driving really good right now. Uh, ah, come on! Yeah, he had the corner out. He saw it on the right corner. So, you've been in the group for a while. The compression originated in EMB. Big B and squeeze. Why is that? still so dominant it was dominant back then because we were just trying to get man beaters what's the benefit of staying in these compressed sets now and this bunch so much it's just uh you can make quick reads out of mm -hmm. it like you could just do like little short reads right there and also the uh, bunch has big plays in it too you could go big plays um i think the uh, compressed set's been uh controlling madden for a couple years now yeah yeah like, it's been dominant yeah it's been dominant so uh, I think it's because it's just because you can make quick reads and they they, they have a mixture of everything. Quick yeah. reads, you have deep uh, deep players, you can deep bomb people. Um, oh, good user spin right there. Okay. Come on, Dreamy. So goals takes three down league EMB. I think I think Bunch was uh the last three years a big Bunch has been that. crazy. Yeah, so I've last three years. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to research why is everybody in Bunch so much. And what I found is 
all over the NFL, actually, there's a whole lot of bunch. So what I used to tell guys is you are, you're a product of what you watch every week. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, if you watch football, what you see from your local team or the formations of your favorite team is actually how you're going to look at the game because that's what you're used to seeing. Absolutely. Subconsciously, you're just going to follow that. There are a lot of NFL teams running a lot of bunch. It used to be a lot of some spread mixed in. So what I'm seeing is a lot of the college gameplay, bunch, spread, empty. We don't see empty too much. We used to see the Patriots run a whole lot of empty. Um, but because of what you're seeing at the collegiate level and down at the pro level a whole lot because these quarters, quarterbacks are coming up and also offensive coordinators are saying we're going to keep our offense simple so that these guys can be successful early. Yeah. Um, that's why it's translating in the match. Also, like in the, in like the bunch sets, like if they play – Oh man, that's the pass. That was a good. That's a whole good route combination right there. With that, that, that was crazy. Yeah. Is it Chip Sida? Yeah, that was yeah. Chip Sida. Chip Sida is actually good in this game too. Oh, he might have a touchdown. Oh, he had. Yeah, all the way over there. Ah, he didn't. He didn't look. He had a touchdown. He did you get that running back out there? Nobody followed him out. Yeah. That happened in the last game too. It happened in the last I think, game I think, go, I think Ghost is going to have trouble stopping this. There he goes. Is he going to move him out again? He's going to He's gonna run the ball inside zone. There you go, Ghost. There you go. Mm. We love this, man. Come on. Yeah, so so for the, for the brand new player, so there's something that we call, like investors call return on investment. So for a new person coming in, what do you give a new person so that they can say, hey, I benefited from coming from looking at this stream today? So you said immediately, you said inside zone. What's your bunch for dummies? Because you've seen books out there that say websites for dummies. and this. What's your bunch for dummies for new people just coming to the game? What do you have to run when you're in bunch? We're in bunch? Yeah. Uh, well, you look for like... Uh, Without giving your information away, but what's like, what's, you need to have this, you need to have that. And this is your hot read for that particular thing. Just in general, which, what have you seen? Uh, like Quarter Strike. Quarter mm -hmm. Strike is one of the best plays in, in this game. Because he's got a uh, deep corner, he's got a fly route, and he's got a long C route. But, but you can uh, make cop outs too. Like, you can make the C route into the drag, mm -hmm. and you can motion out that corner in, mm -hmm. and have like, a, you can make it to a post. And you have two reads right there. Yeah. So, all right, so little man is about to pop out and go. I appreciate you no for stopping through, my man. Make sure you come back through. Guys, EMB, make sure you follow little man at E, M as in Mary, B as in boy, underscore little man. So we'll get that corrected for you. But thank you so much for coming through. Good luck today, man. So put some people on the couch, man. Put them on the couch. All right. <laughs> go stepping up here. Again, fellas, we appreciate you guys for tuning in to us today. We're going to have players come through throughout the day to give you guys some feedback on what their, you know, what their reads are and how they look at the game. So again, if you're a new person coming to the game right now, and you're watching Ghost versus Young uh, versus Dreamy. Dreamy is a great player in this game. Ghost play. Ghost is a good player as well. All right. The I'm not going to say how Ghost became famous, but Ghost missed the field goal last year, and people just people just killed him for that. All right. So, but Ghost is a real good player. He's from a good group of players. Um, actually, they may be one of the only real groups left. Um, EMB is like a GTP from the past. EMB has been around for a minute. They are loyal to each other. They really are committed to the success of each other. Each other. And um, that is a major thing uh, or a major reason why they are so successful. Uh, kind of reminds me of what you guys are seeing now with, um, with the Versus team. With AKG, with Scheming. Um, good Lord, I know it's a lot of other people uh, with uh, Spot Me Please. Those guys who are in that group. I apologize if I forgot some of you guys. It's not, by, it's not on purpose. I just... I don't know everybody off the top of my head. Um, but that group could be just as successful as an EMB or some of the other great 
groups that were out there. Uh, but again, if you're a new person, you need to really understand bunch. You need to be able to run your inside zone in bunch. You need to run your corner strike, which is what you're seeing here. Great defensive play right there. That's that, that zone cover out there by that Minnesota Viking defense. But the reason corner strike is so successful or so useful is when people are sending fire at you, which is a blitz. All right, so you guys saw on that screen that DB, that DB fire two out there. So when people are sending that heat at you, you have to have a quick way to beat that heat. That flat route is your quick way to beat that heat. You can also turn one of them C-Routes. Beautiful, beautiful play right there, goes. You can also turn one of them C-Routes into a drag so that you have somebody coming across the middle for you. And once your defender or your opponent is starting to bring people down, you can then pop that other C-Route on the opposite side of the field or whatever route combination that you guys choose. Um, but that is the benefit of having plays that give you multi-ways to attack uh, the defense. So make sure you get in bunch. Again, it's bunch for dummies. It's, it's success for dummies. I wrote a tournament guide on defense years ago. The first thing I did when deciding to write the, the book was to go reach out to Big Gene and some of the other players at that time and say, if a person was to come to a tournament, what do they need to do in order to be successful right away? What should they be focusing on? At that time, it was like 4-6 Bear and some other formations. And like you had to be able to defend empty um, and split close. Because we used to run a whole lot of split close back in the day. So when you have these pros coming through and they're telling you, what you need to be looking for make sure you take heed to that advice because these guys are doing it these these guys are making money off of this game and they're sharing some information with you on how to be successful as well um so that's what it's all about again we're three nothing here with goals we're in a tight zone 15 yard line a minute 14 left in this first half dream is a great defense great overall madden player goes the same way motions freeman out that drag, look, it's a route combination. I'm going to pull in the drag. Again, I told you guys earlier with the ace. My, I used to run to the ace a whole lot. And the reason why I would run the ace is because I, I would literally come out just to see where you decided you were going to defend. Where do your eyes naturally go? If your eyes naturally go left, I'm going to attack right. If your eyes naturally go right, I'm going to attack left. Goal is great play right there. But what he did previously was he showed you that his def his opponent when introducing a pass play is going to jump to that left side all right so he jumped left and actually he just came back and ran a right side dive and took it in for a score so he's 10 nothing on dreamy right now going in to the half 41 seconds left to go i will get you guys more updates as well again So guys, make sure you check that link that our super producer posted for you guys. You can check the live event scores on that link. Live event scores. You guys have a link to essentially what is the NFL red zone. We're going to call it the Nerd Street Red Zone for the Madden Challenge. And I have a special guest who has just sat down next to me. The one, the only. We're going to call him the second GOAT, the second man on Mount Rushmore, the first man on Mount Rushmore. Can we agree? Lou Tillery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second man on Mount Rushmore, the second face on Mount Rushmore is to my left right now, Big Gene. Big Gene, what's, what's up? up, my man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm all right. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. One and one. One and one? There we go. Waiting for the um, this game. The winner of this game? So no, you, I got to play Ghost. You got to play Ghost? All right, cool, cool, cool. How do you feel about yourself today? Uh, I still need more work to do, but uh, first game, uh, first game was tight with Drini. Real okay. quick game came down to the end. It's kind of my fault. I lost. Second game, I that got ugly. I won that one. And uh, third game, waiting for ghosts. All right. So, so you hitting your swag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got a little more work to do. Got, yeah. got, got to sharpen up some things. Yeah. But guys, don't y'all? What you guys? You guys don't understand how important this is for years. We've been begging this man to come back <laughs> for years. I've been harassing you every, every yeah, year. Like, yo, what's going on? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> so to see Gene back is a great thing. Uh, we love to have our vets, our accomplished guys from the past who are out here performing. 
So you, to be honest, you you must like the game because you're out here competing again. Uh, the game. The, yeah, I, I don't dislike the game. Put it that way. Okay. okay. I definitely don't dislike the game. But it can I'll, get better. But yeah, it can get better, but I don't dislike it. Okay. I like it way better than I did last year. Okay. But uh, yeah, yeah. I like the energy. I like, I like, I like. It's a lot of good people. I like the energy. Uh, I like everything around it or whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm more into it because I like it more than anything else. Cool, cool. That's yeah. a good thing to hear, man. Yeah. That's definitely a good thing to hear. Yeah. How is um, how are some of our other our other friends been doing with the game? Some of the old heads who used to play with us, Tommy, Twine. You heard anything Tom, from them guys? Tommy and Twine playing. Um, they they do their own little thing. Okay. Um, Forty left it alone, of course. All right. Yeah, I just heard about Tommy and Twine. I ain't hear about too many other people. All right. So guys, if you guys may not be used to the names that I'm saying, so Twine, uh, in the past was Boogeyman. Yeah, he won. A, he won a challenge. He was out Chicago. I think, he won right? Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, he won Detroit. All right, and Tommy is Tommy Guns, one of the best, one of the best running players ever in Madden. <laughs> like guys know of Pretty Boy because of the juke glitch, the yes. stutter step glitch. Yes. Tommy was just a pure running back on yeah. the game he played yeah. running back in real life yeah. and he was also a hell of a user when yeah. it came to running the ball yeah. so i would love to see how he can run on this game yeah he he right now after this yeah, like yeah, this I is crazy love, yeah this is crazy so again like i said whenever i'm on or whenever we're doing an event we're going to make sure we shout out our vets you see right next to me you see big gene some of the guys who we've played with we had some great times with game time yeah. Um, dude, dude Hustle Man was supposed to try to come through. He got a playoff game today. Okay. Um, I think he coaches for, good Lord, I can't remember the name of that team. Um, but he coaches for a local high school team. Okay. And they have a playoff game today. But he said he may try to come out. I reached out to Bobby. I haven't heard back from Bobby yet. Gotcha. But we're going to get Bobby out here to one of these events. Gotcha. Um, as yeah, well. I got to see Bobby. Yeah. Who do you like in this game? So right now, Goals is up. You think Dreenies can come back? Um, it really, really depends on this, this, this drive. Okay. And, and it's not, Ooh. not looking like he's, yeah. not looking like he's anywhere near close to slowing him down. Eight for ten, he is, looks like he goes doing what he wants. Um, it's, it's really this job. If, if, if he could get a stop this job, he should be, he, he, he could definitely do it. So he's in the, he's in, he's de goes is definitely in control right yeah. here. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Is there anybody outside of? Who you have to play next day? You want to actually match up against? What? Yeah. Who do, um, you, who do you want? There's not necessarily anyone I want until I'm. I feel as though I'm sharp. Okay. And then when I feel as though I'm sharp, it's a it's a few people that that I'm fans of. Percent I'm, I'm percentage fan, wise, I'm, I'm fans of percentage wise. The one person. Yeah. Like if you're saying like yo, this if I if I'm I had keen, the, if I, my dream match, probably yeah. serious Mo. Serious Mo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what okay. He, I, I, I respect him. I heard, heard a lot of stories about him. Heard a lot, a lot of stories about him. But usually, I don't listen to stories. Yeah. Because every time I hear stories, ninety nine percent of the time, it's, it's when I play him, it's false. Yeah. But I heard a lot of stories from a lot, a lot of reliable sources about him. Okay. So yeah, that that's 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 something I would love to do if All if right. I was if I was at the top of my game. Yeah. All right. So when you get there, that's what we that's what we have to find a way to set that up. So in a couple months, when we do like a players bowl again, I feel as though the more listen, the more you're out here, the sharper. Listen, some of these old heads, if you give them opportunity to play, and you start you start sharpening these dudes, it's gonna get scary. And Gene is getting to the point where yeah, I just gotta it's, just gotta sharpen get a few scary. things. Yeah, <laughs> sharpen a few things. As soon as I sharpen a few things, I'll be all right. I told it take a little while after you don't play for like like six seven years. Yeah, listen, it take me a, a year yeah, to get in shape yeah, yeah, to start yeah, getting yeah, in shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It take a little while, but yeah, I get there and I'll be alright. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Third yeah. and where we at right we now? We have second and five. Second and five. He's he ate up the whole third quarter. Go ate up the whole third quarter. Single back ace. I love. Listen, I was telling I was telling the stream how much I love balanced formations because it dictates yeah. it shows you right away how your opponent reads yeah. your offense yeah so if they start swaying one way or yeah. trending to a certain side you automatically know them yeah, you can pop them backside with different stuff yeah you can set your whole offense up based off of just knowing where a person looks to if they're undisciplined with their eyes yeah he got a first down pounding 
And I used to tell stories about your um y'all initial preparation yeah. for playing the game. Yeah. So I used to write the books for you know, like the premium magazines and this and that. But when I ex Gene Gene Forty Twan and Tommy to help me look at the game and I saw their preparation like yo we're gonna start playing today and we take shifts and we don't come off I think it was like three or four days straight yeah. like yo what are y'all doing y'all we still play. what the hell you mean we still play we ain't turn it off yet yeah like they literally went through every play in the I've never like I thought I was prepared I played ball in real life I thought I knew how to prepare until I saw how they prepare. Yeah, yeah, it's a long, long, long process. That's what I, that's what I said last time. Is this this is a full time job? Yeah. This isn't something you do. This is something you could do ten hours a week, fifteen hours a week, yeah. and just expect to be in an elite level. This takes time. So, so if you don't if you don't have the time, if you don't <laughs> have the time, it's rough. It's definitely rough. But if you can find the time to get some hours in here, get some hours in there, sharpen up everything or whatever, it's it's all about preparation. That's all it's about. Third and ten, he gets the drag. Beautiful spin. spin. Oh, down. almost had it. First down. Uh, Junior only has one timeout. Yeah, he this just used it up. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. What's the he, point differential right now for y'all group? You lost um, by how much? I lost by seven. Okay. And I won by seventeen. Okay. So I'm up ten. Plus ten. Ghost won by 17, and he's up 17, so he's 34 right now, yeah. and Drini is down 10 right now. But now, uh, the only way to point differential will matter is if I beat Ghost, because I, I no, dis it? no disrespect to That's our other opponent, I think yeah. I think Drini's going to beat this other opponent. Then yeah. I have to beat Ghost, and then that's when everyone will be two and one. So it's really on me to make it a point differential battle. If I lose the Ghost, everything's going to be a point. If, if I lose the but we see you advance. Yeah. We see you. You at, you at home. You in Philly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're gonna throw some yeah, of that Eagles do. momentum behind you. Yeah, we just make those take a little bit, slow it, slow it down, make yeah, it take yeah. a little bit. He he like Atlanta, so he love offense. We gonna try to get him uncomfortable. You know, he's a good I player. He's definitely it. a good player. I love it. I'm definitely love a good it. player. We just gotta gotta try to outthink him. Try to make him work. So I gotta throw. I gotta throw any uh former accolades i can in about when i used to play so yeah i just want to let everybody know i played big gene in his first ever tournament do you remember no new jersey route 38 hooters <laughs> yeah i remember i remember when 40 said yo see what my young boy got I remember. Yeah, I think it was the Rams. I yeah. can't remember who I who I used, but I know you guys were running with the Rams a lot. Yeah, and I, I was remember. telling someone earlier, like, "Yo, I remember, I played him in his first tournament game. He beat me." Yeah. Um, but I told Forty at that time, I was like, "Yo, yeah, he gonna be he gonna be special. He gonna yeah. be special." Yeah. So uh, first tournament, at Hooters, yeah, yeah, at the Hooters yeah. in Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely remember. Yo, when you are, when you're, when my when my game is dying. Okay. You start remembering nice, nice. special moments or, or accolades nice. in your career. So I was like, yo, I was the first person to play Gene yeah. in a real event. Yeah. And uh, Gene went on to be great. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't because of me. But at the same time, man, I was a part of that troop. <laughs> that, that. Man, 03. <laughs> yeah, favorite year ever. That whip man was fa crazy. Fa favorite year. Favorite, favorite man. We had a whole lot of fun back then, man. Oh, oh. All right, so who do we have on next? We guys this are going to get you guys. Ghost won 17 7. 17 7. They're tapping out. That game is over. They shake their hands. So, um, Genie's about to play his third point. The Genie's 1 1.